Bill Buchanan was born in Appleton, Wisconsin in 1903. As a junior at Appleton High School, he won the Craftsmanship Shield, which was given annually to the student who best succeeded in rounding out a high degree of scholarship by success in school activities and excellence of school spirit. Even as a teenager, he displayed the blend of enterprise and social skills that would come to full flower in his business career. In 1924, he received a Bachelor of Arts degree from Dartmouth College, and in 1926, he received a Master's in Business Administration from Harvard Business School. That same year, he began his professional career with Appleton Wireworks as sales manager. Twelve years later, in 1938, he was elected president of the company. Bill was constantly developing advances in forgeneer wires to allow the papermaker to make better paper at higher speeds and lower costs. Under his leadership, Appleton Wireworks grew from a relatively small regional supplier of Fortnier wires in the 1920s to the largest and most successful manufacturer of forming fabrics. This led to the consolidation of the Wireworks and Albany Felt Company, which became Albany International, the world's largest manufacturer of paper machine clothing. Anyone who knew him considered him a success by any measure. He enjoyed the respect and devotion of a wide-ranging group of associates, from hourly shop workers to the heads of Fortune 500 companies. He had an uncanny knack for recognizing and motivating talented people. He's shown here at a 25-year banquet in the mid-50s. Bill became a leading philanthropist in the Fox Valley, giving generously of his time and money to private colleges, particularly Lawrence University and Dartmouth College. His generosity was motivated by a deep sense of gratitude. Both schools awarded him honorary degrees. Remaining active well into his 80s, he enjoyed golfing, traveling, and fishing. In this 1945 photo, he's shown with a muskie he caught while fishing at Long Lake, Wisconsin with his good friend Chet Pershbacher. Bill Buchanan conducted his business career according to principles that are available to everyone. Commit yourself. Grow, but carefully. Hire good people. Give them clear direction and let them grow. Listen and decide. Never look back. Never underestimate the value of common sense and repay your good fortune. Bill Buchanan died on February 12, 1993, one month after his 90th birthday. His wife, Josephine, divides her time between homes in Appleton and Village of Golf, Florida.